This the chopper power. 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 This the Sasha G. Sasha G. Sasha G. Sasha G. Look at me. I've been draining, guys. Sorry about that. I apologize. Sasha, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm, I was looking forward to seeing you tonight. Yes, likewise. Yeah. The bunny, what, what, what's your costume? What is it? Um, I'm a preppy bunny. A preppy bunny? Yeah, like. Okay. So, you know. All right. You want to ask who I am? Who are you? <laughs> I ain't really got no job. Mr. Rayford, Mr. Johnny, somebody, one of them guys. <laughs> They got good. a bullshit perm. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man, so what's going on? How you doing? I'm doing great. How was your day? Uh, my day was it was pretty decent. Worked today. Okay. Nothing, Worked today. Nothing special. Yeah. Full day. Yeah. You know. I heard you say where are you from originally, Sasha? Well, I was born in Jersey. Mm -hmm. And but like I was raised in Miami and okay. then raised back in New Jersey. And after that, I keep going back and forth. How old were you? Came to Florida. Uh, I was about five. About five. Mm -hmm. And then how old were you when you left? When you left to go back? Um, uh, middle of seventh, like half of seventh grade. So like, I don't even know. 14, 13, 15. Yeah, maybe one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. That sounds about yeah. right. And then, well, how long were you there? And then you came back. To here. Well, then I just started coming back and forth. Like, uh, Jersey's now my main home. Okay. I plan to relocate to Miami, but I've been just coming back and forth, you know, coming to see family, coming to Hamilton. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Let me ask you, so, this music thing, man. When did it happen for you? And you said, I think I can do this and I could do it at a, uh, a high level. Um, I really, like, the first time I actually recorded, like, on a mic, it was at my sister's, like, old studio. Um, it was when I was 14. Mm -hmm. and I was just recording a cover. But I've always been, like, that kid that would, like, do play, do talent shows. I got you. So I was always, like, into the music thing. But then I really started taking it seriously maybe like 2016, 2017. 16, 17. You recorded your first single then, right? What was the name of it? You remember? It was a, it was two remixes. Okay. To uh, Jap Boys, Rimas, did a remix of that. Okay. It's not a trash. And then I did a Kodak Black Ooh, remix. Okay. Okay. We okay. catch you. You like the records though, right? The records that you remixed. Hell no. You like them? <laughs> no, the records that I remixed, yeah, they fire. That's why I okay. remixed it. But my version, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I redid it today, it would sound way better. No doubt about it. And you growing though, you growing, you learning and mm -hmm. shit, you learn the sound, you sound and so forth. Yeah. Um, latest project. What's your latest project? So I'm like one of those people that don't really drop that much okay. unless I have a plan behind it. I, got you. I don't like just, you know, off the whim shit. It just never comes out right. Oh, I agree. So next month is like my birthday month, so I'm planning to drop a project, like okay. an EP. I haven't decided the EP or album, but it's gonna be called Phantom Pain. Phantom Pain? Yeah, Phantom Pain. What, why? Why that name? So like, let's say you get your arm amputated. Okay. But you still feel the pain there even after your arm heals and shit, and you don't got no arm, but you still right. feel like you do. That's like Phantom Pain. Phantom. So it's gonna be kind of like just speaking on like, I guess the stages of a heartbreak. Really. Okay. I'm feeling it, but I'm not feeling it. But some days I do, some days I feel like this. Like it's a up and down motion. So I'm just trying to present that. Okay, I like that Phantom Pain. Phantom Pain. That's that's deep too. Yeah. That's deep. That, that's <laughs> almost like when um you have surgery. If you ever had surgery, mm -hmm. like when the weather changed, you'll you'll feel that that part where they cut on your body at. Yep. You'll feel it like a little sensation in that spot. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. That's your Phantom. Man, that's cool. Sasha, so you done you done titled the album that the, the project that you're working on, you titled it? Yeah. Phantom Pain. Phantom Pain. This is my first time really Wake up, telling everybody. Like okay. I am real like secretive. Like I want people to know what I got going on when it drops. Okay. So it's my first time telling everybody. And it's gonna be an album? I'm gonna make it an EP. You're gonna make it an EP? I'm gonna make it an EP. Most any, likely. Any features? Probably maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. But I'll uh, Depends on how I, feel. I got you. I got you. Hey, understood, man. This your first official 
project, yeah. project in mm-hmm. a long time. So yeah. I understand. It's my first album or EP or anything like that. Right. Mm-hmm. Who producing the record? Who produced the records on that? Or gonna produce the records? So I have an engineer that I solely really work with back home in Trenton, New mm-hmm. Jersey. His name is uh, King Amir. Okay. So I go to the studio called the Clubhouse. Okay. So he's basically handling my records. You do the records, huh? Mm-hmm. Wow. You enjoy it? Yeah, I do. Really? I love it. Now, that's cool. That's cool that you that you love doing what you do, man. Yeah. Damn, man. I um you work with Miami rappers. You ain't did no work with any Miami rappers yet. Not yet, no. But you know, I will eventually get to that once I start building my name. I got you. I got you. You're mm-hmm. dope, man. I feel like you're dope. I look at some of your content. I oh, feel like you. you're dope, man. <laughs> thank you're you. You're dope, man. And, 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 and it's, it's like being in a, 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 a male-dominated lane. What are some of the difficulties you feel like you face being in that lane with the guys, playing with the boys in so many words? I feel like we got it easier. Like, for women. I feel like if we're talking about standpoint of, like, just getting on period, mm-hmm. women are going to get on faster than men. Gotcha. So, I mean, I really don't. But like, we got it easier. No doubt. Keep it straight like that. No yeah. Because nah. sex sells, man. Yeah. Sex sells. And that's and what that's girls just... are using. That's, like, the quickest way for females to get up there. Like, men can't really do that. I know exactly. Yeah. Well, they can take the show if they got muscles, but yeah. most rappers overweight in some yeah. shape, some shape, fashion, or form. Like there could be a female rapper and she might not sound that great, but if she looks that great, right. it's gonna sell. Okay. If a man doesn't sound great, he just simply don't sound great. Right. They gonna right. come from the period. Yeah, exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. So, so you okay with going that direction with your with your your, your music, as far as like self, showing skin and missing that there. And, so um, forth, you okay with going that route? I ain't going that route. You ain't going that I route. I ain't gotta go that route. <laughs> I feel you. Hey man, stand on that. Yeah, I ain't gotta go that route, so I ain't going that route. Stand on that. I'll, I'll like, I'll wear what I, whatever I feel like wearing. So if I'm showing skin one day, I'm showing skin. I get but it. it ain't gonna be to sell my music. I got you. Mm-hmm. I got you. Feel like the, 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 your work speaks for itself. Yeah. That's what it is, though. <laughs> That's what it is, man. I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. So let me ask you, if you if you had opportunity to work with any artist, you got a name that you can throw out there? J. Cole, you love it, J. Cole. Yeah, it's my favorite. Conscious album. rap. Yeah. I like it. Like, it's like you can be going through anything throughout the day, and you can just choose one of his songs. It's going to get you through that day. He mm-hmm. talks about everything. No, he does. Mm-hmm. He does. He does. Very woke rapper, man. I, I always did. I was a fan. I always been a fan of that guy, too. Yeah. It ain't many of those guys out there. Not, not a lot. It ain't not many. Not a lot, especially <clears throat> nowadays. Yeah, it ain't. Wow, that's pretty fucking dope, man. Mm-hmm. Sash, man. Um, Where do I go? So... Release date for this next project, you thinking next year sometime? No, it's gonna come next month. Next month? Mm-hmm. Mm. Gonna do it around my birthday. Individuals? Um, actually, you know, it's crazy because um, my videographer just hit me up about shooting a video on Sunday at Carnival, during Carnival. Okay. So, I'm gonna probably have that. That's the Miami Carnival? Yeah. Really? I think it's one down here too, because I seen the people setting up early. I think we have one. Over Probably. here too. It's a lot of things going on this weekend. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you gonna go out there and hang out? Yeah, I'm gonna go out there. It's like, cause I'm Haitian, so it's like I'm gonna be out there getting a whole bunch of content and probably doing a music video, a whole music video. You should. Yeah. Watch it. Cap- capture the opportunity. Opp- capture the footage while the opportunity is happening at that time. Yeah, my videographer he got me like my own ticket. Like he bought the ticket for me, like a backstage pass ticket. So, oh like, wow. Can, you know. Yeah. It's Who performer? Do you know? Um, it's like a whole bunch of Haitian artists, a whole bunch of Caribbean artists. Okay. I can't tell you the names off the bat. Okay. But it's just a lot of Caribbean vibes. I wouldn't have been able to tell you Haitian before, I, before you told me that. I wouldn't have been able to tell that. I can't see that. I know. A lot of people say that, but it's not really the scene. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it was, a, it was, a, and, and listen, man, I love my Haitian. I work with a lot of Haitian guys, man. I love yeah. the guys, man. It's, but, but it's a look that they had back then, but it ain't that no more. Yeah. It ain't that no more, man. That's what it is, man. Yeah. You, but uh, oh, oh, well, just to get past that, career. Uh, what do you call it? What do you call that thing? It's not a, the um, thing that you're going down to Sunday, though. Um, it's basically called like Juve or like the carnival, like Juve. Mm-hmm. Two days or one day? It's really two days. It's like the whole weekend. Okay. And there's like parties at clubs going on surrounding that tonight and stuff like that. So it's like a whole weekend type of thing. I got you. I got you. Um, what can we expect from your new project next month? Oh, a whole lot of bars. A whole lot of bars. <laughs> a whole lot of bars. You know, it's like that stigma where I guess men look at females like they can't rap. I just feel like I'm, I 
can rap. Right. So a whole lot of bars. Like, I feel like I can go toe to toe with a nigga. I ain't you even feel lying. like that? Yeah, I feel like that. Man, talk your shit. <laughs> talk your shit, man. That's what it is, though. Yeah, I feel like that. That's what it is, though, man. I, I'm with you. I'm with you for it. I can't wait to hear this uh, new project, man. Thank you. I'm definitely a fan. Thank you. Let's say that, man. I know minus the wig. The wig don't really <laughs> tell you that, but that's what it is. You know what I mean? Thank you. I appreciate it. <clears throat> um, the record you're going to perform for me tonight. What's the name of the record? It's called Humble. Humble. And what inspired that record? Um, You know, it's funny because there's nothing humble about that song. It's not really? Nah, it's like, um, it's, it's like the opposite of humble when okay. I made the song. It's like a cocky ass song. But I just named it humble because it's just like I don't know. I decided that's to do deep it. That's shit though. That's, that's deep. It's like maybe I was too humble, so now it's time to be cocky. Ain't no wrong with that. Yeah, like sometimes you just gotta get get out there. Like you gotta stop second guessing yourself. I agree. I agree. I'm glad you're stepping out there on faith, man. Step out there, man. Talk your yeah. shit, man. Yeah. You know that's what you gotta saying? do. Like that's how they gonna listen. Man, <laughs> trust me. <clears throat> your visuals. <clears throat> I know your visuals gonna be sick. Oh, yeah. So you got friends that you run with? Girlfriends? Yeah, I got friends. Small I got really circle. family. Yeah, I got real tight, tight circle. Like, people that I've been dealing with since, like, middle school. Middle school? Yeah. Yeah. Real tight. And that, that's basically who's family now. So it's mm -hmm. not really even friends. So how is it traveling back and forth, though? Like, is, is it hard to? Uh, no. It's not hard, huh? No, my mom's side is in Jersey. My dad's side is over here. So mm -hmm. I'm good. Way. Both ways. Yeah. So you it's like a different that. vibe either way. Like, yeah, I love it. How's New York? I know I supposed to be going to visit New York for the longest. I ain't been there yet. Well, I don't really go to New York because I live in Jersey. But okay. New York is all right. Close though, right? They're close, right? Yeah, just an hour away. An hour away. People want to say it's the same thing. But, you know. Okay. That's mm -hmm. what I was told. I heard, heard it told to me. Mm -hmm. You been in Statue of Liberty before? I actually haven't. Really? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I want to go visit. That's the first place I want to go see when I get there. I don't know. It might sound weird, but I want to go see the fucking place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I never went. Not even, like, on no field trip at school, like, when I was younger. None of that? None of that. God damn. <laughs> I've been to Manhattan, though. Man. That's the littlest part to me of Brooklyn. With Brooklyn? Yeah. Is it that particular, they call them boroughs, right? That's what they call them, boroughs down there? I believe so, actually, yeah. Yeah, I, like we got counties, I think they got boroughs mm -hmm. or something. That's at least one of them guys explained it to me. I don't know, I, 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 but I definitely want to visit the place. Yeah, it's beautiful. But uh, Sasha, um, anything you got going on outside of music, man? Modeling? No. Nothing? You should. I'm not, I'm not photogenic. You don't think so? No. I think so. I don't really like, outside of music, I'm just a work life. I work. Okay. I have a whole corporate job. Really? <laughs> well, we ain't gonna talk about your job. We ain't gonna put you on the spot. Yeah, you know? but like, I don't do modeling. I don't really. I wouldn't like to do modeling. You take a lot of pictures, though. I do. Yeah. But I don't want to take like professional. I don't want that to be a profession. Just to have to take pictures. Like, I take pictures because I want to. You went to college, didn't you? I did, yeah. But I didn't like finish completely. I'm gonna finish. I plan to. Okay. You speak well. That's why I said I got kind of got kind of got a college type of you know what <laughs> Thank mean? You. Um, mannerism. You know what I mean? That's super cool though. Uh, educated background, like your mom and dad. To them. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, listen. I want you to do this record for me, humble, and um, tell the people how they can find you, man. Okay, so y'all can find me on the gram at Sasha G Fierce. Once again, that is Sasha G Fierce. So I go by Sasha G. And um, y'all can find me on all platforms at Sasha G. Sasha G in the building with the fat man, Willie Joe. <laughs> I'm Willie Joe today. Y'all fuck with me, man. It's the top of our. She's finna bless us with the opportunity and perform the record humble. Yep. I'll make sure y'all tap in like, share, go to YouTube, and definitely subscribe to the Chop Up Hour. Sasha G, Fat Man. This the Chop Up Hour. This the Chop Up Hour. This the Chop Up Hour. This the Chop Up Hour.